What was it like being a youngster in the change rooms with that sort of stuff? Was a bit of I get bullied, like yeah, yeah. Was it? Was it like back then? Like I said, because like God, yeah, like any any decent little stories. We used to have like things. Obviously, don't do it no more because it's just like we tried to keep this sort of going. Like when we were obviously at Plymouth Flight thing. So like you have things like Christmas bonuses, obviously clean boots. It's died off a little bit now. The lads, like the young kids now, like you can't get them to do jobs now. Like, you're not allowed to do it effectively oh, really? now. But like back then, like we'd keep it going. So you'd have to come and sing for your bonus. You get all the first team there, <laughs> you know, <laughs> get them up in front of you, make them awkward. Like, but it's just a bit of a learning thing. We only ever did it like that. But our one. Like when I was in the youth team, like they would do, you'd do their boots every year. If they weren't done properly, like the pros would throw them out or thing, you'd be doing them again. Like, like really? made sure, yeah, you took pride in it because yeah. obviously the first team and that. And like, uh, yeah, for our Christmas bonus, it was like, it was it was different. So like, you'd obviously they'd pay you out and you'd have a little bit of a meal at Christmas or whatever. And um, yeah, our one, we had to do, uh, one of them was like, not a naked nativity play, but it was in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> so like they'd get the first team would call you down and then we'd have to come up with this big nativity play for Christmas. And then like you get what, down. Just you and the, uh, the younger lads? The youth team boys, yeah. <laughs> and you do it in like fours and fives and then they'd vote on who they think's the best. And then you might get a little bit more money if you've done it decent. But yeah, you'd be going down into the first team dress room, all the first team there, managing every, everyone's there. And like, yeah, you've got a little stage there, like, in your, <laughs> but, but you're in your pants. Or, or I've seen it gone. I've seen it done naked as well. Like, but nowadays, like you, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't be allowed yeah. to do it. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? like you, yeah, yeah, singing's about as far as it goes now. But back then, yeah, it was like acted out, singing. You could do whatever you wanted. It was almost a bit of an extra thing. Fucking class. That is yeah, funny. Going out, earn your money. But like they were like, I'll be honest, they were like pros are fucking horrible back in the day. Or oh, like when we were kids, yeah, mate. But you think that what they probably had to go through? Oh, you imagine yeah. the generation before that. Yeah, you know what I mean. That yeah, you know, it was probably bad. What they were like to you, but imagine yeah. that fucking generation before. But that's all they used to say because they were like, Watsy was obviously Paul Watton, obviously ledge like thing. I love Watsy, but he was he was the worst. He was was mad. he? He was a mad one for it. But he only treated you like because he got done. I remember mm, yeah. him telling a story about um, you know, back in the day. Obviously, the old ground. You had a bit of like the grass there out the front of the ground, didn't you? And you had the yeah. old Mayflower over the way. Yeah. And there used to be a fair on there, didn't they? Used yeah. to be the fair. He, he said like, when he was like a youth team boy, you got the big metal skips with all the boots in. Mm. So pros, butt naked him, like took all his gear off, <laughs> banged him in the skip, done it up, <laughs> wheeled it into the middle of the fair, unclipped it, left it there. Then he's had to get out of it naked and bring the skip back. <laughs> well, yeah. so like what he did no to was like was never at that level yeah. but like yeah he'd treat you like thing but I'll be honest like where the obviously the old change rooms used to be we used to have to get to the boot room you'd have to walk in front of the first team boys but I'd go around the outside I'd just go out around the front of the ground come in through the like through the laundry <laughs> and get the boots and go out and clean them because if you got caught on the wrong day you get like yeah, you get get bundled. Your clothes you get ripped off. You're like fucking cut up. <laughs> it was, yeah, it's just fucking one of those places. Like really difficult place, but like funny at the same time. Yeah, that's mad, isn't it? Like that, that's the sort of shit you'd expect from like, like rugby lads and military lads. I didn't think that you. Nah, know, it's no. football, nah, football's yeah. horrendous, mate. Not even now. like amateur yeah. football, mate. Some of the stuff yeah. that even we've done at our level, like that sort of like semi pro and lower level, we've yeah. been P and D, mate. And he's we used to change on the side of the pitch, and we've had all sorts, mate. I had all sorts of just it's just it's just shit. banter isn't it like it is, I miss it like, that's the only thing then. I miss though yeah I don't actually miss football I miss. I miss that side of it I miss yeah. I miss all the boys I miss doing shit like that you yeah. know what I mean it, it, it's, you can't beat it 